Hello everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. It's been quite a while, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to make an event, pretty much on Roblox. Uh, so, but with more, so how to make a badge morph with an event. So basically what this means is that you have to do an event, get the badge so that you can uh, enter this area for the morph. So how to make a badge morph with an event. So these three items you're going to need. This is going to be the event air, the event teleporter. So it's going to teleport you to the event. And then this is going to be the badge giver. So when you step on that, you're going to get the badge. And then this is going to be the area. You can only enter if you have the badge. Um, and I already, I already added like lavas. So if anyone tries to like no clip through it, they won't be able to. So yeah, don't worry about that. I'll, um, you can customize it if you want. If you have any questions about customizing, let me know. So let's get started. So once you have all these three items, again, they'll be in the description. Um, customize it, do whatever you want with them, or you don't have to. So, after you've done all of that, you want to go ahead and add a badge. So, you're going to need 100 Robux for a badge. I know, it sucks. You need I don't know why you need to pay 100 Robux for a badge. Um, so, today I added 100 Robux to my account for the purpose of this video. So, uh, let's go. So, this is very important right here. As you guys know, there is, um, you can make experiences or games for, from you, like my creations or group creations. Now, if you have a, if you don't have a group, then you don't need to worry about this. But if you do have a group, you need to listen carefully. Check your game, the game that you're making right now. My game is called Testing Place. Go to the game page. And look at what it's made by. If it says it's made by your username, then you're going to go to My Creations. If it says it's by your group, then go to Group Creations. The game that I'm using for this video is by me. I just, it's by my username. But if your game says it's from your group, then go to Group Creations. After you've done that, go to Badges. And it should, it should be right here. Um, so if it doesn't pop up, it's because your game is not published. Or, if your game is published, it's because it's not public. So, yeah, see, so select from public experiences. So, if your game does not pop up, your game needs to be published, and your game needs to be public. And then, just refresh the page, and it should pop up. And if it still doesn't pop up, just you should find it somewhere here. Don't mind these games. These are, like, when I was freaking little. Um, after you've done that, you're just going to find your image, name it, and then the description. Okay, I got my image. I just used the seal. I'm just gonna name it test badge. I'm gonna just name it test. Okay, and they're gonna preview it, and then uh, see. So yeah, it's gonna be, and then you can purchase it for a hundred. And then once it's right here, once you created the badge, you're gonna left click on this and config or confer. I don't. I don't know. And then, um, you can always change the name, the description, and the image. So then, yeah, that's it. You just press save, and then now you have your badge. So now, we want to go back to Roblox Studio. Now that you're back in Roblox Studio, you want to click on... You want to left-click on the area. Then left-click the arrow. Left-click badge door, the arrow. And then you should see a value right here. Badge ID. So what you want to do now is you want to go to um go to details. So basically much you just want to you want it to be like this. You want to go to here and then um give me one second. Okay, sorry for this mess. Um sorry if you guys see like black bars. I don't know if you can. Uh but then um you want to go to your badge and you should see some numbers up here on the URL. You just want to, you just want to highlight all the numbers. Press Control C, and then go back to your studio. And then you want to go to the value, and paste the ID. So now, if we have the badge, we can enter. But we don't. And then just add it to all of these. So go for so for the for the the badge giver, left click. Open the script, and then you should see some numbers. 
Highlight all the numbers and control V and it'll replace it. And for the door, left click on the arrow, left click on the part, left click on the teleport part, and they're gonna need a game ID. So, actually, yeah, I don't think you need a badge ID for that. Okay, this is just the teleport. So, you're gonna see a value that that is the game ID. So, what you wanna do is you wanna go to view, and then and then oh, sorry, I started, and then open asset manager. Double click on places, right click in this open area, and press add new place. And then once you added the new place, double click on it. Okay. And now that you're in your new place, um, you're gonna double click again. And then the place that you just added, right click on it, make sure your cursor is like, um, make sure your cursor is hovering over it, right click on it, copy ID to clipboard. And then you're going to go back to your original game, and then paste the game ID and the value. Well, let me see if there's anything in the script. Uh, yeah, and then you're going to open the script, and then paste the numbers right here. All right, now that you got everything set it up, now um, we just we just need to make the event. So go back to your place that you just added, and then just customize it. Just do whatever. It can be obby. It can be whatever event you want. Um, the event that I use is like an obby, and you have to like, complete it. But for this video, we're just gonna add the badge. So we're just gonna make it like a simple obby. Let's just add a free model. Just do like this part right here. Let's we'll add this. Oh, where's the spawn? Did I, I think I deleted the spawn. Uh, let's add this. Right here. And then, uh, you're gonna go back to your place. Or, make sure, yeah, just insert this. Insert this. Insert the badge. And then place it where you want to be. Actually, um, let me just... Let me just copy it so I don't have to paste the badge ID again. Um, so 52, 2, 152. Okay. So once you're in once you're in your once you are in your different the event, um make sure the badge floor thingy, I just call it, no, the badge giver, let's just call it the badge giver. Uh, make sure the script, make sure the numbers are your badge ID. So again, if you need your badge ID, just go to your badge, and then the numbers will be right here on the URL. And then you're just going to highlight all the numbers. If you're wondering how I did this, you just hover your cursor over the numbers, and then double left click, and then it'll highlight all of them. Control C. And then go to the numbers. Double left click on the numbers, control V, and then it will be pasted. And that's pretty much it. So, oh yeah, and then, see, we don't need this. So let's just put this in there. Put this right there, because this is where we're going to get teleported. Spawn. That's right there, oh my god. Okay, and, um, what else? Oh, yeah, and add, um, this is optional, but add HD admin, and you'll see why in a second. Add HD, no, no, only add HD admin to your event game. You can add it to both. So, yeah, just add HD admin for both games if you want. And then... For the, uh, if you want to rename the event, so you know how this is, so this game is the main game, and this game is the event game. So if you want to rename it, so that it, like, says something else, hold on, we'll, go, we'll get to that in a, in a second, um, let me just tell you some stuff first. Uh, why am I not in full screen, never mind. Uh, 
the reason why I added HD admin, huh? We'll get to that. Um, let's just test out the game. So let's go. Let's just publish Roblox. Make sure you publish Roblox for both, and then let's enter the game. Okay, as you guys can see, we are in the game. So if we try to enter the area, we die. And then if we go to the door, the door, it'll teleport us to a different game, which is the event that we added. There's the HD admin. And there's the obby. Do this obby, and then once you step on it, you should get the badge. There we go. Test badge. And then, um, the reason why I said to add, add HD admin is because if you want players, it like, like, if you don't want, if you don't, if you don't want players to just leave and then join the regular game, uh, there's a command with HD admin that you can do. So, what you want to do is, you want to go to your game. So, let me just pull that up real quick. Okay, so yeah, you want to go to your game. And then copy the numbers. So again, hover your cursor over the numbers, double left click, control C. And then go back to Roblox. Let me just turn that. Okay. Go back to Roblox. And then you're gonna enter in chat. And then do these little things right here. It's right next to L. And then just do or actually no, I don't type commands. Um so you're gonna we're gonna press this key right here. I don't know what it's called. It a comma. That's not a comma. You stupid idiot. Okay, but it's so it's right next to this key. So if okay, I'm so I don't know what to do. I'm so bad at explaining stuff. So it's it's two keys away from L. So we got L, this key, and then this key. So then you just want to type this command. You want to do force place all and then the game ID so this is the command that you want to do force place all and then the game ID and then when you enter that it's gonna teleport you back to the main game and there we go back in the main game and now that I have the badge I should be able to enter and there we go so yeah that's how you make an a event I don't know if I missed anything. I hope I didn't. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you make an event on Roblox with like a badge morph with an event on Roblox. Um, if you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.